It's time for a story now, Bungle. Oh, I'm playing with the water. Well, you can always go back to it afterwards. Oh, all right. It's the story's about water, too. Oh. It's called Thomas Has a Bath. Oh, good. Right. This is a story about Thomas, who has a spade, a rake, a watering can, and a little red tin for keeping things in. He loves sloshing about with sand and water. It makes him very dirty, and the only thing to get him clean again is more water. So he has a hot, splashy bath and a cold, tickly shower. Thomas's grandmother lives in the country by the sea, and when he goes to stay at her house, she has to put the kettle on to make hot water for a bath. Grandmother's bath is very small, and with Thomas in it, there's not much room for water. So most of it seems to get all over the floor. Thomas is sure Grandmother will be pleased if he mops it up before he goes to the beach. The sun is hot and yellow, and the sea is cool and blue. Just the day for a swim says Thomas. When Thomas has finished his swim, he fills his bucket with seawater and he gives grandmother's flowers a bath. It begins to rain, so grandmother's flowers get two baths and Teddy gets sopping wet. Funny thing, says Thomas. Teddy seems to have got dirtier instead of cleaner. So Thomas and Teddy both have a good wash with clean hot water and yellow soap. Just for fun, Thomas leaps into the air. Thomas jumps in the tub and all the water jumps out. Time to clean my teeth now, says Thomas, squeezing out a long wiggly worm of peppermint toothpaste. Then he brushes his hair. But th that tufty bit on top just won't lie down. Never mind, says Thomas, putting on his blue pyjamas. It's time for bed now. But Teddy isn't ready for bed. He's still sopping wet, and he has to be pegged out on the line to dry. Good night, Teddy, calls Thomas. Then he cuddles up under the bedclothes and tries to get to sleep quickly. He's very glad it'll soon be morning, so he can splash about with the sand and water again. Sunshine? Yes, Mooney? You know that story about two holes in the ground? Yes. <laughs> oh, that was good, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> no. Oh. But do you know when is a well not a well? When is a well not a well? No. When it's feeling ill. <laughs> I give up. going back to play with the water now. Playing with water is a silly game. No, it isn't. I'm going to experiment. <laughs> experiment, that's a long word. <laughs> I bet you don't even know what it means. Yes, I do. It means doing things to find out what happens. And what things are you going to do? I'm going to find out what floats and what doesn't. 
What a peculiar idea. I'm going. Why don't you try this? Get as many things together as you can find, like these here. And then see which float and which don't. Here's a cork. Oh, that floats, doesn't it? Yes. Do you know why, Bungle? Is it because it's lighter? Yes, lighter than what? Um, lighter than the water? That's right. Ah. You try the pencil now. Yes, all right. <laughs> Look, that's floating too. Yes. Isn't it good? Mm. Oh, <laughs> stones don't float, do they? No, that's because stones are... Heavier than the water. That's it. Yes. Ah, uh, look. Paper floats as well. There. Oh, yes. Can I try this? Yes, all right. Go on. Hmm. It's like a little boat, isn't it? Yes. See what else you can find. Do you remember we had a race once with egg cartons? Oh, yes, I remember. Can we do it again? Yes, all right. Move these out. There. Right. Now, here they are. That's yours, Bungle, and this is mine. We start here. And Remember? We, we blow them, don't we? We blow after one, two, three, go, right? One, two, three, go. <laughs> yours, <laughs> one. Yours, <laughs> one. Bye-bye. See you soon. Bye.